Uh, I'm just... I'm not sure what's wrong with Alex. She went to bed and didn't even say goodnight to me. I hope it wasn't something I did. <sighs> Alex? Huh. That's not like Alex to wake up without waking me up. Oh, no. Oh, man, it makes so much sense. She's mad. Heck, she's probably mad at me. I mean, she was acting awfully strange yesterday. I... Gosh. Well, I guess I should go find her and figure out what's going on. I don't want her mad at me. Especially when she's carrying my child. It's just... All right, let's just go find her, I guess. Ah, oh, jeez, this stinks. I don't want her mad at me. Of all the people in the world, I don't want her mad at me. Oh, there's Angie. Maybe maybe she knows where she is. Hey, um, Angie, have you, uh, well, have you seen Alex? She wasn't in bed when I woke up, and normally she is, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I saw her earlier this morning. She, I think she said she was going to go for a jog. <laughs> Great. Alex only jogs when something's wrong. I knew it. Or, well, there's also the other fact that she may think she's fat. She tends to jog when she thinks that. Well, I mean, I hate to break it to, well, you and her, but she can't jog a baby off. <laughs> no, no. I wish it was that simple, but uh, I don't think she thinks she's fat. I think it's something else. Well, what exactly is the matter? Is there anything I can help with? Well, I mean, Angie, I'm, I'm not sure. I don't even know what the issue is. That's the problem. I mean, she just started acting really odd yesterday. Well, how so? It's like, it's like she's angry, right? But I'm not sure at what, though. I mean, it could be anything. Well, you gotta remember, she is pregnant, and she's also in her first trimester. Her hormones are probably going crazy, which, you know, may explain the oddity of her behavior. Ah, okay, hormones. <laughs> that explains it, yeah. Thanks, Angie, I, I appreciate that. That really took a load off my mind. <laughs> no problem. I tend to read a lot of books, you know, being the librarian and all, and I I remember weird things like that. Well, your weird thing came in handy today, so it's probably a good thing to have in your mind, you know, those weird little things and thoughts. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go see how Chef Milo is, and, well, I guess then it's going to be time to wake up the troops. I'll see you at breakfast. Bye, Angie. Oh, hormones. Man, didn't even think about that. Okay, guys, I expect each of you in the mess hall at 7.30 sharp. Don't make me come and find you, Randall. If you just stop going to bed so late because you're reading comics, you're not the only one. You're not the only one, Randall. Yes, Elijah, I know you're reading comics. Come on, guys, just go to bed at a normal time and you can wake up and have some good breakfast. I don't want to have to come in here after you guys, you know, after breakfast. Just wake up with the rest of the troops. <sighs> All right. Sorry about that. You got 15 minutes till lunch. I mean, breakfast. Yeah, sorry, it's been a long night, but breakfast. All right, I expect you all there. All right, see you then. Oh, man. The stress is getting to me. I'm getting lunch and breakfast mixed up. This is... Uh, I mean, it's hormones. You heard Angie. It's just hormones. But we got to find her. We got to find Alex and figure out what exactly is going on. But more importantly... Uh, okay. I gave him the option to... You know, promise me that he would be here, and no, David didn't even show up to wake the troops up this morning. Oh, I'm so angry at him. Uh, if he's in the bed when I get there, I'm going to be so irritated at him. Man, 
I'm about to scream at my best friend. Heck, I might even fire my best friend. Yeah, that's right. I'll do it. Yeah, I'll fire my best friend. He should be showing up to work at the right time. Like everybody else here. Everybody's on a payroll, and he... He won't be on the payroll if he doesn't show up. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Let's let's just barge in there and look boss-like. Because you're his boss. You're not only his best friend, but you're his boss. All right, here we go. Hmm. All right, Dave. Oh, goodness. Jeez, come on, David. I mean, I get it. I get it. I I'm happy for the two of you. I am. There's just, there's still no excuse for being late to work, especially after you promised you wouldn't be late anymore. Okay. Okay. You're right. I, I screwed up. David, apologizing won't cut it anymore. Next time you don't show up, well, you're fired. Fired? Come on, Bert. This is a summer camp for crying out loud. So I missed two days waking up the troops. David, stop while you can. You aren't going to fire your best friend. I screwed up. And I'm sorry. I just... I lost track of time. Don't tell me what will and won't do. It makes me want to... Prove you wrong, mainly. Look, how about you take some time off and I'll take the next three bunkings. Sound fair? Yeah, yeah, David, that sounds fair. But if you don't show, and I find out, well, how about let's just say let's not find out. Okay, bud. Now... If you would excuse us? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry about not knocking. It's fine, buddy. No, nothing happened. We just kind of fell asleep chatting. Well, you're both adults, so you can you can do you. But uh I'm I'm gonna go. Sorry, Madison. Oh jeez, that's awkward. And the next thing I know I'm yelling at David for you know, being late to help the troops this morning. I mean, I even threatened to fire them. First they're kissing and now sleeping together? Yeah. Oh, um, hey, I, I wanted to apologize for yesterday. It took me a bit, but I, I get it now. Oh, no, it it's okay. I've just, I've been a little uneasy recently. I think it's because of the pregnancy. Yeah. It's probably hormones. That, that's what Angie said, at least. Oh, God. That's embarrassing. Also, I know that it irritates you how much time Madison has been spending with David. Yeah. I just hate she came. I mean, I thought she was coming to see me. Not solely see David. Well, you need to go talk to her about it. I think, I think that would help a lot. Yeah, you're completely right, babe. I'll see you later. Love you. I love you too, Alex. Ah, oh, finally, everything's going to work itself out. All right, that's enough TV for today. Uh, let's go get that book from my room and then we can go, oh, and find you. Hey, um, I wanted to let you know I uh, talked with Alex. Everything's good now. That's, that's great, Counselor Bert. Hey, is everything okay? Well, um, I'm not sure. You see, it's, it's about David. Oh, great. What's he gone and done now? Well, David hasn't done anything, but it's dealing with David. Well, out with it. What What's going on, Angie? 
I caught Madison in the library or in her cell talking with someone that she kept calling baby. <sighs> well, this is just perfect. <sighs>